Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. Happy start to the week. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be a video on ROC falling to Switzerland in the women's quarterfinals after having a tournament that left a lot to be desired, I would think, for the Russian Olympic Committee's fans, as the only team they actually beat in the entire tournament was the Swiss in the preliminary round. And then they were not able to top them in the quarterfinals as Switzerland gets their revenge to beat ROC. So since this one's from the ROC team perspective, <clears throat> uh, let's start from the top. Uh, at the top of the tournament in ROC's first game, they were able to top Switzerland, as I just said, 5-2 at the women's playlist that's linked at the bottom of this video at the end. You can check out that recap from back then if you want. And then as you continue, they lost 5 nothing to USA, 6-1 to to Canada, so by a five-goal deficit to both of the uh, top clubs. And then ROC lost 5 nothing to by a five-goal deficit to actually all three of the top clubs uh, to Finland. So literally by all three, U.S., Canada, Finland, all three of the top teams, ROC lost by a five-goal deficit. So that just shows you there's a disparity there. They still have work to do to be able to compete with those teams. That, that's pretty much point blank uh, what that tells you. And then you come in. ROC beat Switzerland in the tournament. Switzerland clearly used the game tape from that first game to adjust and make all the A, Bs, and Cs needed to come into the game to beat ROC, where ROC, in contrast, seemed to kind of just try to do the same thing and hope it worked again, which is not a very good mindset uh, in a hockey game. It looked like they basically came in with a similar game plan that didn't get executed nearly as well as a preliminary round game. Team Switzerland was ready for it. Brandley would have let in a softer goal, but got a fortunate, it ended up hitting the uh, inner boards on the bench, so that goal did not uh, end up counting, and then there would have been, <clears throat> then there was another goal in that game, excuse me, for ROC, that did end up counting, because they didn't read that it went off of the inner post, so this was an interesting game with reviews as well, but that one goal should not have counted because if it hits the inner boards, that's just the rules. Whatever you want to debate about if that should be a rule or not, that's a completely different side of things on if that goal should have counted or not. It should not have because of the rules. Um, when it comes to this game, I thought that ROC showed battles in moments, but I thought Switzerland for a majority of the hockey game uh, was the team that was able to generate more high-octane scoring chances, be able to uh, get up on their skates more, and be able to just generate better uh, plays and better set plays for their team to be able to get people open. I mean, they almost had 40 shots. I know ROC had under 25. I think it was actually 24, so just under 25. But, I mean... Switzerland was firing on all cylinders in this game. This was a game that they came in with vengeance. ROC fall. They kind of came in with a similar uh, game plan, hoping it would work again. Clearly, it didn't. Uh, overall, for the tournament grade, I would have to give ROC um, it's probably a D to a D plus at best because you only beat Switzerland in the tournament and then fell by five goals to every other team that was a top team. And then Switzerland got the revenge in the end anyway, in the most important game, which was the playoff game. So I would have to say that's at best a D. The only reason it's not an F is you did get the win um, against Switzerland in the first game. But everybody have a great day and pleasant day. This has been a reaction to ROC's tournament and their ultimate demise in the end by Team Switzerland in the quarterfinals. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe, and best of luck in the World Championships next year, ROC, as you battle to be able to build up the team to be able to compete with Finland, USA, and Canada. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe, and enjoy your year.